Hello, this is Tim Perfit. I wanted to do a follow-up video on the uh, prior video that I did, which was how to authenticate macOS with a, a smart card or a, a YubiKey um, with a certificate on it. Um, one of the questions I got is, how do you actually get the certificates onto the cards? So I want to show that um, uh, process. Um, there's a couple different ways to do it. If you open up our smart card utility from Tukunu Software, you can see that I don't have, I currently have a card plugged in, but I don't have any certificates on it. Um, it's actually a, Yubi, uh, uh, a YubiKey. So if I open up open up the YubiKey PIV Manager, you can see that um, it don't, I do not have any certificates installed. If I click on certificates, there is no uh, certificates in any of the slots. Um, so the first thing you do is figure out which slots we need to install. So if we go back to Smart Card Utility and click on more info, it'll open up the web page that has all the different, all the information um, we provide uh, on the smart card utility commands. Um, and you can see here for macOS slot requirements, we need uh, a pin authentication and a key management um, uh, key. So if we go back and we look at the PIV utility, we can see that we have one for authentication and key management. We don't have to worry about digital signature and we don't have to worry about card authentication. So just these two slots authentication and key management. Neither of them have keys in it. So the uh, simplest way to go about doing this is just to uh, uh, click on generate new key. So if you click on generate new key and you create a certificate or a self-signed certificate, that's all you have to do. Put in your management key and pin and it will generate the it will generate the uh, self-signed certificate on the device. So let me go ahead and do the same thing on the key management. There we go. And so now I, I now have certificates loaded um, on the authentication and key management. So if I launch, if I go back into um, Smart Card Utility, unplug it, and plug it back in, you'll see that I now have the uh, prompting for smart card pairing as well as a uh, certificates um, for in these two slots 9a which is pivot authentication and 9d so if i double click on one of these certificates you can see that it is not a trusted certificate because it uh, it's not verified by third party it's a what's called a self-signed certificate which works fine for um, just a, a one-off kind of uh, authentication to your mac if you want to have more of an enterprise solution where you would be able to revoke the certificates if somebody no longer is able to authenticate to those machines, then you would have to use a uh, certificate authority, which we'll talk about next. Um, uh, second way to go about getting a certificate onto the uh, smart card is so if we go back into the PIF management uh, and delete the certificates that we uh, created. And we can also do what's generating a new key and do what's called a certificate signing request. If we do that, it'll create a certificate signing request that we can save, uh, and we'll call this, um, this is the PIV CSR. Put in our PIN, and then it generates a certificate signing request. And then we take this, and then we submit this to a well-known certificate authority and they're able to sign that, and then we're gonna be able to put it onto the device. Um, we can do the same thing for key management. We'll generate this, and this is the uh, key management key, and we'll put that onto our desktop, put in our pin. Okay, so now that's done. And once it's completed, we can import that uh, certificate into the um, slot, and once it's been signed by the well-known certificate authority. I'm not gonna show that process because I'll show you kind of a more, uh, uh, a slicker process to go about if you have an Active Directory certificate authority. The next option is if uh, I bought actually bought um, a PIV key um, and that one comes with a sample certificate that's been generated for you, not even really sample, but one that's been generated for me. You can see that I have this uh, the token. And if I look at this, um, we could possibly use this. It's actually in the wrong slot, so I'm not getting prompted. Um, this doesn't actually allow you to, uh, it doesn't have any utilities that come with it, but um, they do have a utility in Windows that allows you to provision it. So if I go into uh, Windows,
there is a uh, Windows utility that was provided with the smart card when I got it that enables that allows me to do those same operations that we did with the YubiKey. Um, so that's that's ways to generate on there. So let me show you a final way to go about it. <coughs> let me put that YubiKey back in, inserting the YubiKey, and then we have a, a product called Certificate uh, Request, and um, let me launch it from scratch because then you'll see that it populates all of the information from our Active Directory. Uh, uh, from Active Directory as well as discovers the certificate uh, authority. So um, if I look in, um, if I go into Keychain Access and go to Ticket Viewer, you can see that I already have a Kerberos ticket. So um, what this certificate requested is it authenticated to Active Directory. Um, it got the root certificate, which I'll need to install. So I'll install that into my keychain. And now I'm able to generate a certificate sanity request on the card. So the, the, the template I want to use is the smart card login. And slot will do 9A, and I'll paste in the management key. I hit on request, it's generating the certificate sanity request, pushes it up to the Microsoft Certificate Authority, and now if I look on my card view or you can see I now have slot A and since I trust uh, it says certificate is valid because I trusted the root certificate the one from the certificate authority right here this root certificate uh, we don't just need it in slot 9A but also in slot 9D as well so let me go ahead and generate one in that slot okay that's now successful now if I go back in and unplug and replug in my smart card we now see that I have the correct certificates and also um, it's in the correct slots. So this, that's how you would go about provisioning a uh, smart card or a YubiKey um, for use for authentication with macOS. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Um, it will, helps me out a lot and also it'll notify you when I have uh, more videos that are available. Um, and also be sure to go to twocanoes.com and check out um, our different utilities to be able to make working with smart cards and macOS a lot easier. Thanks very much for watching.